let's say you want to make a trap song. More than that, you want to make a perfect trap song. It's easier said than done, but adding together a few elements, I think it's possible. First off, you'll need a main artist, preferably one with years of experience who survived decades in the industry, relentlessly setting trends and staying relevant. Someone like Young Thug, Chief Keef, or in our case, Future. Next, you'll need a great producer. Again, preferably someone with years of experience making some of the most iconic trap songs out there. If we're already going with Future, Metro Boomin is a pretty perfect selection here. The two have a long history of making music together, both are at the top of the trap scene right now. It's just common sense. And then you'll need both of them to work their magic and do what they do best. For Metro, you'll want a hard-hitting, bass-rattling instrumental with some switch-ups throughout that tap into that signature psychedelic style so present in modern melodic trap music. And then Future on this instrumental could go many ways. He could really ramp up the energy, get into that raspy delivery he's so known for. He could go for that more melodic style that he executes so well, but I think here you'll want him to embody his signature calm, collected, and spaced out persona. It will help give the more energetic parts of the track a sense of cool, and also allow Future to seamlessly switch over into the more relaxed sections of the song. For lyrics, let's go with the usual trap talk, bragging, money raps, some light wordplay, and of course, a bit of concerning drug use sprinkled in for good measure. It gives the rockstar lifestyle some conflict, you know? And what would you be doing without great features? Just to ensure we make this a truly perfect trap song, how about two more legends of the modern trap scene? Not so iconic as to overshadow future, but still heavy hitters. Travis Scott is a somewhat basic pick, but to keep it interesting, let's have him go more melodic here. Do something different from what we might expect. He would actually make a great addition to those psychedelic passages of the instrumental, so throw him in there. And to match the hype energy of Future, I could see a few rappers working here. If we want to narrow our field down to strictly trap rappers, that gives us a short list, but I would still be happy with anyone from 21 Savage to Lil Uzi Vert. Even a more deep cut pick like Nardo Wick or Kenny Mason would be great. But there is one rapper I think would work best here, Playboy Cardi. His new style is so future influenced that the two are a match made in heaven, and just getting Cardi on a record at this point is such an achievement that you really can't go wrong with adding him in the mix. On top of that, he brings the relevance of a big name artist with the allure of an underground one. So throw him on the track as well. And let's cap the features at three. We really don't want this to become too crowded. For a title, let's pick something short, memorable, maybe a bit of slang that people already use a ridiculous amount type shit. And there you have it, a perfect trap song. Put up, I don't hang with rats, that's some new type shit. Pop it, pop it right about the blue type shit. It's not melting any genre lines or doing anything all too original, but it's a flawless distillment of the trap formula. Simple, hard-hitting, and exactly the type of song that fits perfectly into the recent collaborative album from rapper and producer duo Future and Metro Boomin, We Don't Trust You. With a title taken straight from Metro's now iconic producer tag, the album seems to state up front that it won't rock the boat too much, that whatever it contains will fall perfectly in line with what we've come to expect from a future and Metro Boomin collaboration. And that's largely the case. This album comes firmly from the if it ain't broke, don't fix it mindset of music creation. You might hear that and just assume this record is a layup for the pair, something easy, but sometimes doing the expected can be just as risky as breaking hard from the norm. While not every album needs to be a complete reinvention for the artists behind it, I can name all too many rappers who have fallen off in recent years because fans grew tired of their sound. Future and Metro might get more leeway because they're such legends in the industry, but even legends can be hit with audience fatigue. Just ask someone like Gucci Mane. But We Don't Trust You is different. To get right to the point, this album is exceptional, so the question for me is why is the record, for as expected as it might have been, still so amazing? Well, for all the same reasons that certain Marvel movies or fighting games or sporting events are, because there is so much satisfaction to be found in the perfect execution of a rigid formula. Pusha T is one of my favorite rappers ever. His wordplay is immaculate, his songs catchy and infectious, but what makes Pusha special isn't great conceptual records or introspective lyrics. 
It's the way he's able to tackle the same topics over and over in ways that always feel new and entertaining. Pusha has been rapping about drugs since the late 90s. Coke rap is what he does, but no one else does it as good as Pusha. Not then, not now. And while I'm sure Pusha could do an excellent job rapping about anything else, it's his unparalleled focus and skill in one lane and one subject matter that makes him such a compelling artist. They say it takes 10 years to master a skill. Pusha has been rapping about dealing for over 20. And that's the blueprint Metro and Future work off on this album. Now, it's crucial to note that neither artist is as hyper-focused in a single subject matter or style as Pusha T is. That kind of supreme dedication is almost impossible to pull off. But Future and Metro both have their signature sounds and have each spent over a decade honing those sounds. I live for a good future love song or Metro pop hit, but it's hard to deny that those kind of tracks are deviations from what Metro and Future have truly perfected. A trap formula emulated by countless aspiring rappers, but never quite replicated. And I think both Future and Metro know that. No one can cook up a trap banger quite like Metro Boomin. There's a reason he's been one of the most sought after beat makers in the scene for years now. And if Future's recent performance on Travis Scott's telekinesis is anything to go off of, the man is basically the walking embodiment of trap itself. With a signature vocal inflection, expert control of atmosphere, and a skill for writing and delivery paralleled by almost no one else in the trap music landscape. Yet, for as obvious as these facts are, both Metro and Future have historically been held back, for me at least, by an inability to lock into what they're best at for full albums. Both of Metro's solo records are amazing, there's no denying that, but they're kept from being perfect by diversions into different musical styles that feel out of place, or by Metro underplaying his talents for featured guests who fail to compliment him well. Future, while he has multiple classics filled with banger after banger under his belt, seems to fall short lately because he weighs down his albums with played out love songs, repetitive tracks, and lines that feel like a caricature version of the real future. And that's what makes We Don't Trust You feel different. Collaborating for a full project, Metro and Future seem to have lit a fire underneath one another, pushing them to deliver great work as they always do, but also to focus on consistency, aesthetic cohesion, and giving the fans what they want. Metro's beats here can be extravagant and bold, or stripped back and skeletal. They can feel plucked right out of 2014 or sound like the trap of 2034, but what makes it all work is that Metro locks onto the blueprint of great trap beats, deviating only slightly and always coming back to the formula. It makes for instrumentals that perfectly complement the top-tier performance of Future, who instead of sounding like an over-exaggerated or sappy version of himself, raps like a collected trap veteran, with skilled pin game and control of the instrumental. It's this collaborative consistency that keeps the album from getting stale across its hour-long runtime. Some have complained about the track length here, said multiple songs run too long, but so much of the joy in this record is seeing two artists in peak form really go the distance. Songs like Claustrophobic, GTA, and What the F*** You Mean all either brush against or exceed four minutes, but stick out in a landscape where many trap rappers struggle to hold attention for more than two. More than songs, these are flexes of talent, reveling in the artistic ability on display here. This is the type of album where Future can hold his own alongside the most fiery and confrontational verse of the year from none other than Kendrick Lamar, the kind of record where ad-libs from The Weeknd are used as set dressing for a Metro beat, the kind of project where modern trap perfection is crafted almost effortlessly. Future's last full-length outing, I Never Liked You, for as fun and often quality as that record was, represented for me a downgrade for Future as an artist, as he became increasingly distant from the person that made classics like DS2 and Monster. It was a record pushing Future away from his past as a reliable trap fixture and toward a role as a Drake-like hitmaker who plays up his toxicity and general character to an almost ridiculous extent. But that record ended with a track that seemed to suggest where Future was going next. 
Back to the Basics is a pretty standard future love track, pained and sad with a fair amount of hollow flexing throughout. And while the title might refer to Future's partner leaving him for basic men on the song, that phrase, Back to the Basics, still brought to mind a possible path forward for Future where he would cut out all the fluff in favor of getting back to his roots and showing off a real mastery of the trap staples. I don't know if I quite believed that would happen. I Never Liked You was massively successful and a huge late career hit for Future. There was no reason for him to switch up his style or do anything differently. But We Don't Trust You shattered any reservations I had. It's possibly the best Future project since his now iconic mid-2010s run, and that's because it represents a full understanding on the part of Future and Metro of how to get to the core of who they are as musicians. It's a victory lap of sorts, getting back to the basics and feeling all the more fresh for it. Hi guys, I'm just coming on here at the very end to say thank you for watching my video. This is one that, you know, had a little bit of a quick turnaround time. This is just the album I really enjoyed, wanted to make something about. Um, so yeah, this was like a fun video, just a, an exercise of my I guess creative abilities on this channel, so I hope you all enjoyed it. I am very excited for the next Future and Metro album, which for some of you watching may already be out, but maybe expect another video if that album is, you know, a masterpiece. If it dethrones We Don't Trust You for Album of the Year, um, I, I might consider doing another essay about it. I am also coming on here at the very end of the video to issue a massive, massive thank you in particular to all of my patrons. Patreon is literally what keeps this channel alive, keeps me, you know, from falling into financial ruin. So if you ever want to support the channel in a big way, Patreon is the best way to do that. Um, I, of course, appreciate all subscriptions, comments, likes, anything that boosts me in the algorithm, but Patreon is definitely the number one thing in my book. And speaking of Patreon, I want to give a shout out to all my patrons in the shout out tiers. So special thanks to The Muppet Guy, Anya May, Robin, Onyx, Sophie Villarot, Adrian underscore R31, Alex Mirabal, and Grace. And as always, I have been Ellie, you have been, hold on, incoming gag. Sensational. Sensational. And until next time, bye!